In this video, I want to show you two tips for saving time setting up your flow simulation studies, uh, specifically related to when you have a lot of boundary conditions to define. So the first tip I want to show has been in flow simulation for quite some time. And what I'm going to do is define uh, just a, anything in flow simulation, like a fan on this internal uh, cooling analysis of this rack mount server here. So I'm going to go, go to my fan definitions and insert it. Choose my internal fan definition. Choose the fan I want. And I'll choose the corresponding faces. And you'll notice I have many of these fans inserted in the assembly. So rather than having to manually define each one, once I have one of those instances defined, I have the ability to right click on that item, whether it's a fan or a heat source or a boundary condition, and choose copy to component instance. So this will propagate that definition to all the other fans in my system in this case. This works for multiple instances in an assembly, whether they were inserted manually or patterned. When I click OK, all those fan definitions are propagated. So that's functionality that's been in there a while. There's also a new feature that has some great potential and that's the ability to import setups from sub-assemblies or components within the assembly. So for instance, this motherboard here actually has some definitions created on it. If I open it up on its own, you can see it has its own flow simulation study where I was just testing some things out. I have various heat sources here. Quite a lot of setup already done at this sub-assembly level material definitions, etc. So back over to my top level assembly, I can now take advantage of that work I've done by going through my pull down menus for tools, flow simulation, tools, and choosing to add from components. So add from components is new functionality in flow simulation 2017. The first thing it'll do is scan the documents in my assembly so it shows me only the files that have projects associated with them. Then I can choose the projects I want to import. So I'll select my motherboard analysis here. And I also have studies set up on the power supplies over here. I can also import from those. So these are actually two levels deep, you'll notice here. Two levels deep associated within a subassembly. And when I click Add, it will import those items into my flow simulation setup into a folder here called From Components. So this will bring over not only the setup, like the heat sources, materials, boundary conditions, but also the goals from that study. And one of the great things about this is if those child studies ever update, you have the option right here to just right click and update all. So it'll actually reach down and pull those new definitions up to the top level here. This is a great time-saving resource, particularly for these electronics cooling applications, because you have the ability to predefine any sub-assemblies or components that you're going to frequently reuse. If you want to see more content like this, you might like to check out a recorded webinar we have called Designing Liquid-Cooled Components with SolidWorks Flow Simulation, where we take this rack mount server and also look at the design of a liquid cooling loop. Hope you like this video and thanks for watching.